Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe the Lord wants me to read First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 through 10. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Either way, God gets the victory. It's Pat's two cents talking now. Either way, God gets the victory. But, you know, he's, he's warning us. And a lot of times, you know, we're, we're going through the woods. And, you know, we have no clue what lurks in hiding places, what is watching us and, and stalking us. And, yeah, ready to pounce. Mm -hmm. Well, you notice it said, and I emphasized it so it would get your attention. He walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Did you guys ever hear that old game we used to play? Simon says do this. And you know you had to say may I before you did it. So we don't realize that we give Satan and his imps permission to dabble in our business. You don't realize that, do you? Mm -hmm. Every time you yield yourself to doing anything or feeling anything his way, you are giving Satan permission. You might as well go to the front door, open the door, say, come on in and set a spell, have a little cup of tea with me you know because we are collaborating with Satan when we disobey God you know the old expression the old adage you're gonna have to serve somebody well who would want to serve Satan over God that I don't get the father of lies that's who Satan is he seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. Where is the love in that? Okay. So if you want to join hands with him, you go right ahead. But I'm telling you, you have no idea what doors you are opening. I've heard too many people say how, how I remember a woman, we were talking on the phone. You might see that video. We were talking on the phone, and she was sharing with me how she used to dabble in the occult. She was a former witch. And she said when she was young, she was five years old, uh, This uh, she got a Ouija board for, for Christmas as a Christmas present. They dabbled with it. And then she dabbled in the other things. And in this house, things started to happen. Noises started to happen, sounds, movement. And one time she was going outside and walking behind her father, I believe. If I, if I don't have it correct, forgive me for that part, getting old. But she was walking outside and she said something hauled off and slapped her right in her face. There was no one there. The door was open. And it remained open until... She gave her heart to the Lord, accepted Jesus in her heart, gave him lordship, and denounced, or as some of you say, renounced, whatever, got rid of all that crap associated with anything connected to Satan, 
his occult, his works, she got rid of it. So you have to be very careful because when you give Satan permission, you can't just tell him, okay, now it's time for you to go home. I'm ready to go to bed. Once you have let him in, he has a legal right because you have given it to him. You can't just say, shoo, shoo, fly, fly. De -dee 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 -dee. You can't do that because fly ain't going. Yeah, Mr. Fly is going to stick around as long as he chooses. And he will begin to own you. And you will wonder why things are going helter-skelter in your head, in your heart, in your body, in your life. And you don't realize Satan is jerking you around, baby. Yeah, he's got him a patsy. He got you for a fool. And he's playing you for one, too. Because he hates you. He has no other ability but to hate. And everything he does stems from that. Surprise! So, when you give him permission, you literally, if you want to get rid of him, you have to give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to ask God to forgive you, to clean your slate, to fill you with his Holy Spirit because you can't fight a spirit with flesh. You have to fight spirit with spirit. So you need power, baby. And God's power is always way above the fly. Mm -hmm. So next time you decide to open your mouth wide, and cuss somebody out. Next time you decide to have some friends over to play with the Ouija board. Next time you decide to watch one of those uh, bloody movies where demonic creatures are coming out of the woodwork. And they're playing, toying, and tormenting people all they want. And you're jumping and flinching. <laughs> yeah. You have invited. You have invited the enemy in. So you have to get into the legal system on God's side so that you have a legal right to get rid of him. Because you're telling him you can go home now. I'm tired. Oh, he's not going. He'll look at you and say, what made you think I came for a visit? I came to stay. Deal with it. Hmm. Scary, ain't it? Ha! Yeah, okay. You can play with them all you want. Play play tiddlywinks and, and, and <laughs> play hide and seek and all that all you want. But he is not to be played with. All that astrological stuff and the and the the crystals and all your uh, hey, cut that crap loose. It's all associated with Satan. If you listen to what I read from Revelations, you will see how God chastised the leaders of this world, the powers that be, for using enchantments and, 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 and uh, laying curses and luring people in through witchcraft and sorcery. Oh, God hates that. So you better leave it alone. You want to be on God's good side or you want to tango? Yeah. Anyway, please be be careful. Please be careful. Be vigilant. Don't play. Now here's the good side of once you denounce that and you take away Satan's right, legal right, to screw up your life. When you have given it all to God, you've given total control and surrendered to him and denounced the nonsense. God will bless you. He will take you. He will strengthen you. He will perfect you. Because he, he'll take you any way you come, but he's not going to leave you the way you were when you came. He loves you too much for that. 
So life will kind of rake you over the coal and polish you up a little bit, get rid of the dents and the dings. So, you know, so you become a new creature for real. All right. And it doesn't feel good, so we get upset when life's trials come. But God will perfect you through that. God will establish you through your righteousness. He will strengthen you. He will heal and fortify you from within. Then he will settle you, baby, and you will have satisfaction, baby. So, I'm done. Think on that. Do you want to give legal right to Satan and play with him? Have him as your playmate until you have given him permission to devour you? Or do you want to surrender all? To the God, the lover of your soul, the lifter of your head, the Savior. Anyway, okay, God bless you. Ask yourself that question.